What's up guys, Nate Podrowski from Narrowway Homestead. This garage project is almost completed. I have some electrical stuff to do and you guys know I've reviewed a lot of power banks in the past. I'm often quite excited about them. I don't show a lot of excitement in my videos. This one I'm extremely excited about. This is the most luxurious power station I've ever dealt with. It has so many features, so many options. It's simple to use, it's well made and I cannot wait to show you guys. All right, guys, this is the Jackery Explorer 5000 Plus. This has 5000 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries in it. This is the expansion battery pack, also known as the Jackery Battery Pack 5000 Plus. It has another 5000. This gives me 10 kilowatt hours of stored power. And this is the smart transfer switch. This is the thing I'm most excited about. In layman's terms, it's basically a transfer switch that's also a sub panel. There is all kinds of stuff that can be done here from monitoring your power. This is made for systems. Basically, it's made to be on the grid. One of the things about it, I'm not on the grid. So my main grid is what this calls the grid because I have that wired into here. That's what's powering the garage lights and everything in the garage at the moment. If I decide to switch from the grid to the power bank, I can do it. It can also do this stuff automatically based on parameters you set. So let's get into the details of all this and how I'm going to incorporate it into my system. Before I get into all the details on the transfer switch, we will go over the Jackery Explorer 5000 Plus. This on the front looks a lot like their other power banks. You can use this not in the system at all. You can turn on the AC plugs, the four in the front. Note these numbers right here, particularly the 7,200 watt pure sine wave. That's continuous, the surge is higher. That is an incredible amount of power that's capable of coming out of a battery bank all at once. Over here is the simple connections. You can charge this just like you could any of their other solar generators, just off of a regular receptacle. The other thing you can do is their low PV, their solar inputs go right there. But something that's different on this than any of the other ones I've seen is you can actually connect the high PV. It's a standard MC4 cable connection and you've got a switch to turn it on and off. So if you have other panels mounted on your house, and you can plug them in here and it will do up to 15 amps max. However, you can go up to 450 volts with that, which actually allows your panels to be further away from this unit itself because you don't get a lot of voltage loss at 450 volts. What I have is their Solar Saga 500. It's a solar panel that you can use in multiple configurations. You can string them all together to be about 500 watts, or you can use them individually, the Jackery Solar Saga 85s. You can set them up in a really neat configuration where you would put the whole string east to west, and as the sun goes up, it hits three of the panels on one side and as it's in the noon position it will hit all of them somewhat and then as it sets over towards the west it will catch the other side so you're not moving panels all over the place like you have to with a lot of other different things you can just set them and it'll bring in power all day long as long as the sun is shining these can also be mounted just with the holes at the four corners of the panels you can put them on a roof on a wall in between the bottom and top railing on a railing system they've really made some tremendous improvements in their solar panels i'm really impressed that they included the MC4 connection so you can hook other panels as well. It just makes this a very universal system. Over here on this side, this is a very exciting side to me. You've got 240 volts, 30 amps, got all your resets here. You have an AC expansion port on this side. Both of these are 240 volt connectors, depending what your plug is. But this AC expansion port, you can see I have something plugged into it. They always pay attention to all the little details and the quality of everything on this unit just seems amazing to me. But you plug that in, plug it into here, and now it is backup power. So this system is designed to back up your entire home in case you have a power failure, this will take over. The other thing it can do, is if you're charging this off of solar panels and it notices that it's a certain level that you program in the app, then it can take over and power off of this, saving you money on your electric bill by running off of solar when it's available. This battery pack, expansion pack, is the same type of connection and you can do more than one of these. You can do up to five. Whenever this is charging from any power source and these are connected, 
this will charge as well. As you can see, there's another port here, so you can stack another unit on top of here and just keep going. All right, let's get onto this transfer switch. Right now I have this set up as a sub panel, not off of this panel, but off of the one in my bank. My whole solar system has been having some struggles lately, so I have been relying on this unit. Right now I have three breakers in here. One is running these lights and the other two are running receptacle circuits and I will be adding more. At the moment I am running off of quote grid power, which is my main solar, but to switch it, okay, so I forgot to turn on the UPS mode of this. The lights turned on again after about five seconds, but just with a quick change in the settings in case you're running computers or any other sensitive equipment that can't have that happen, turn on the UPS setting in the app, and then it's 0 0.02 seconds of downtime. In other words, 20 milliseconds. Anyway, so that works really, really cool. Something else that's neat because sometimes like you might think right now, oh, I turned off the power. Well, the power might not be off. You can actually turn off power to the panel with this pause and resume button at the bottom, letting you actually be safe with whatever it is you're trying to do. So when you actually need to turn something off, you can turn something off. The other thing that I thought was really neat on this, and I know I should just focus on only tech specs and everything else, but up here, and these lights are gonna go off again, these screws that hold this on so you can actually access everything behind the panel don't fall out. And the light's gonna turn off because of safety. They don't fall out because they're actually captured in this plate, which is really, really awesome. And I can hold this little safety switch. It actually threw me through a loop for a second when I was wiring everything up and wondering why I had an error. Looked it up in the app. It said that this was missing. I put it back on and then everything worked. The other cool thing is all these circuits are monitored in the app. You can see what the usage is on each circuit. Very, very important for someone like me who's off grid. I like to know what is using how much power, when it's using it, and I can find all that out. You can also turn on and off circuits as you want to from the app. So if a circuit's using a bunch of power, you're planning to go work on it, I would still personally feel most comfortable also mechanically shutting off the breaker. However, every time I've turned off a circuit through the app, it has turned off the circuit. The other cool thing about hooking this up, while it's recommended to have an electrician work on all your electrical stuff, they made it very easy. The neutrals, there's plenty of neutral locations. There's one there, one here, and one here. And then your grounds, you have the ground symbol, ground there, ground there, ground there. I just have my temporary grid power brought in here right at the moment, even though it's not grid. I think it's pretty cool that it says I'm on the grid sometimes whenever I happen to throw this breaker. But I'm switching back and forth between the Jackery and the main power. If you have a regular household with normal electric, this thing is an amazing backup system. It's really smart. You can monitor everything that's going on from the circuits that go out of this sub panel, and it does all that. The other cool thing I talked about being able to have this along with five other battery packs, you can, underneath here, connect a second Jackery Explorer 5000 Plus and another five battery packs off of that one. That will give you a total of 60 kilowatt hours of backup power, which is an insane amount of power. The power I normally run off of when my solar was working just fine, I have 11 kilowatt hours of usable power out of my lead acid batteries. This whole system being capable to go up to 60 kilowatt hours or 60,000 watt hours is an incredible amount of power. Almost no matter what you're running in your house, you'll be able to run it for a while with the right setup. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with this unit. The build quality is higher on this than any other unit I've ever tested or messed with in any capacity. Um, this thing is designed for a surface mount. It's just a nice quality box. Every time I've been working with this, it's been awesome. There are links down below that will take you to this product. I really thought this product was gonna cost more, and I'm not gonna say pricing in this video in case it happens to change or there happens to be sales. Go to the link, go to Jackery's website, check it out for yourself. They have different bundles with different things available. I would highly recommend anybody looking at backup power in their home and don't want to become an electrician in the process to absolutely look at this. They make solar super easy. I am blown away by the capacity. Knowing a regular solar power system, you have an inverter, a charge controller, your batteries, all your monitoring equipment, all that stuff is combined down into this one little box. It is a very powerful charge controller, obviously a very powerful inverter putting out 7,200 watts of pure sine power. This can put out more than my large solar system. You guys have seen the entire array. I am absolutely impressed with this. They have 
done an amazing job. It's not the cheapest thing in the world. What you get for the price that they're asking with it not being on a sale price, I think is amazing. I'm just impressed. This will definitely be part of my permanent system. I am going to incorporate it. I'll have solar power as my main power and solar power as my backup. The other thing I did not talk about that's gonna be very important to you that are tying to the grid is that this, through the app, will charge this so you can charge the Jackery off of the grid right through this. You don't have to use the optional connection there to plug it into an outlet. Once you get the smart transfer switch, everything is automated, very easy to do in the app. The app's easy to understand and use. All the options are there. There's just so many things you can scroll through and change and monitor and configure. And I just think this is an amazing system for the average consumer that doesn't know much about electricity. And that's obviously who they're marketing it to. But I, I can just tell you every everything I have played with and studied and looked at, including even just simply the directions here, just. You should be reading the manual to wire it all in. However, it gives you a very close, very easy. Everything's got color. They didn't cheap out on anything. They didn't make it hard to read. They just did a good job with this. I am very, very impressed. And while Jackery has most certainly sponsored this video, I am allowed to give my own personal opinion of how hyped and excited I am for it. I don't jump for joy. It's not really my thing, but I'm excited <laughs> and this is cool. So seriously, if you're looking for off-grid power, absolutely check this unit out. It is amazing. Check out the links below the description. Read about it on their website. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If I missed anything, leave me something in your comments. I will have this system for quite some time. So as I discover new things, I will certainly update you guys on it. But I'm thrilled with this and you should definitely go check it out if you're in the market for anything like this. Or if you're just an electronics guru and you like smart devices, just go check it out for a hobby. Because I sure would, because I think it's really cool. Anyway, let me know what you think and thanks for watching.